Hi guys, it's me, Dr. Nasir, back again in Let's Crack OT together. First of all, thank you for so much support. In the previous year, we hit 17,500 subscribers in the past 12 months. Today's video, as you can see on the screen, is very, very, very important. As you know, new year has started. So in this year, you must make your hope and you must make your dream to clear your OT exam and move abroad. But the major point of concern is that how you should study for the OET exam in 2024. First thing first, OET exam is divided into four subtests, reading, listening, writing, and speaking. First, you need to know that what are your weak points. Usually, a lot of students face a lot of difficulty in the writing and reading subtests. So, make sure to do those particular subtests and invest more time in those particular subtests and improve your skills so that you can understand more better. So, in this video, I will let you know that number first, how much time you should invest daily, how you should study daily for the OET exam, number three, what materials you should use to study for the OET exam, and number four, how much time you should take to improve your skills. So, before starting the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification. If you want to join my one month premium detailed preparation course, you can contact me down on the number given in the description below and all of the details of my course are mentioned in the description. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First thing first, how much time you should invest daily for the OIT exam preparation? In my opinion, if you are investing two to three hours daily, for your OET exam preparation, then your chances to clear the OET exam are very high. I know we all are medical professionals, we have tough and hectic duties. But still, if you want to clear the exam, you have to put in the hard work and you must be consistent and disciplined. If you lack consistency or if you lack discipline, no matter how good you are, you won't be able to clear the exam. Yes, maybe sometimes you can get lucky and you may be able to clear it, but most of the times, Things don't go that way. So, how you should divide two to three hours daily? One hour in the morning, when you wake up, if you had your breakfast, one hour, you should do one listening subtest or one reading subtest complete in one go. Not only listening part A or not only reading part A, the complete subtest in one go. Make sure to write down your score. The answers that you attempted incorrect, make sure to go to that particular parts and revisit them and redo those questions and try to get the answer correct. If you are not doing this thing, if you are only attempting the practice test and you are not checking your answer that where did you went wrong, you won't be able to improve. This tip is a tip for majority of the students because a lot of students, they just go to the practice test, they just do the practice test, they get a score and they say, okay, I am at a 26 score, I will do improve in the next one. No, if you are at a 26 score, or if you are at a 31 score, make sure to recheck the rest of the answers that you attempted wrong. That where did you went wrong and try to get the reason for each particular answer and that's how you will improve. You should be giving at least 4 days a week for your preparation for the OET exam daily. Daily 2-3 to three hours, within a week, 4 days and yes, you should also rest and give your brain a break. Number 2nd, what practice material you should use in order to prepare for the OET exam. In my opinion, please do not do the listening test from the YouTube because their difficulty index is not as on par on the real difficulty index of the OET exam. So the session files, which I have mentioned in the description, and the benchmark reading and listening material are more than enough in order to prepare for the OET exam. Number three, how you should assess that where you are standing and what is your level of English. For that particular purpose, I would suggest you to attempt a mock test. I have prepared a mock test of COVID-1 OET reading subtest, one listening subtest, one writing, and two individual speaking role plays with me, which are just on the difficulty index of real OET exam. If you attempt that particular mock test, you will know that where you are standing. And from that reference point, you can improve that what are your weak areas and what are your good areas. So ultimately, you can only improve those areas and ultimately clear the exam. The mock test details, they are also mentioned in the description. Number four, a lot of students usually ask this question from me, that how much time is required 
to prepare for the OET exam and when they should book the OET exam. As I told you, when you have done the mock test and you know that where you are standing. So from that particular reference point, you can get an idea that either you need one month, two month or more than two months to prepare for the OET exam. I never recommend my students to just do the practice test and sit in the exam without improving their skills if their score are below 300. If you do so, you will just be wasting a lot of money. So first thing is that get a good particular guidance, get to know that where, how you should improve. And once you learn all of the things and then now it is your job to invest in time and in order to improve your score. If you are only doing the practice test and your score is below 300 and you are thinking that maybe you will clear the exam just by doing the practice test and improving only in the practice test domain, it is very highly unlikely chance that you are going to clear the exam until and unless you improve and build up your skills. So proper guidance, proper strategy and improving your skills will ultimately lead you to clear your OET exam within this 2024 year. So. One listening test per day, one reading test per day, and on alternate days, you should write a letter. No matter how you write, just write a letter. Because when you write, your writing will start to improve. You will be able to point out your mistakes. If you want your letters to be corrected, still you can contact me for detailed, in-depth letter grading. And once you have learned all these things, you can just go, sit for your exam, Attempt your exam, give your 110% on the exam day and clear your OET exam. If you have any questions, you can comment down below and I will personally reply to those particular queries. Any questions you have, make sure to share this video with your friends so that they can also learn on how to prepare for the OET exam in 2024. So that was it for today guys and bye bye until the next video.